What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Burley Fishing Channel. I'm Paul. I'm not Jeff. <laughs> We do bait testing, we do unboxings, gear reviews, you name it, we do it. So thank you for stopping by and please like, subscribe, ring, bell, all that stuff. Now let's get to, let's get to the boats. There's this video I've been wanting to make for actually quite some time now. This whole week, this whole week, I've been making upgrades to my, I'm gonna call it an ultralight kayak. It's not technically ultralight. It's ultralight compared to my, you know, 500 pound monster over there. I mean. This kayak, so this kayak weighs 25 pounds. It's a uh, Old Town uh, Vapor Angler. It's a, it's a 10 footer uh, compared to the, what? Compared to the uh, Hobie Pro Angler 14 that I usually run, totally different boat. It's a sit inside versus a sit on top. I'll show you what that means. So sit on top, I'm sitting on top of the deck, right? I'm sitting on top of the water uh, in a sit inside like this one. You're actually sitting inside the boat, right? So, and then you're actually, ultimately, your butt's actually gonna sit inside the water. Probably, I don't know, 75, 80% of people, I'm totally making up numbers, but a majority of people prefer the sit on top. I am included in that group. 90% of the time, I'm fishing sit on top. It is extremely stable. Uh, it has a ton more options in terms of storage, capacity, all those sorts of things. It's way more comfortable. It's just like being in a boat. It's the, the stability is really the biggest thing. Now you are getting some big trade-offs with that. With a sit on top, very, very heavy. I mean, relative to a sit inside. They're also more expensive. Um, that could be an issue for some people as well. So why do I have this kind of rig when I have the giant beast over there? You know, with all the extras that you can get, you got the big anchor, you got the sweet pedal drive, you got the fish finder, blah, 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 12 rods, the whole nine. Well, sometimes maybe it's net, maybe it's kiddo's nap time and I need to get out for one, two hours. Maybe it's in a place where I can't get with those gigantic wheels and I don't want to drag, you know, that thing, you know, 400 yards. I have been there before. Um, there's a lot of different reasons. Maybe I'm just fishing ultralight, right? Ultralight rigs, this is a great ultralight fishing rig. If you're just going to hit some panfish, you want to drift the river, there's a lot of reasons why having a, a much lighter kayak, why you would want to have this. So this again, Vapor 10, Vapor 10 Angler by Old Town. Um, fantastic rig, pretty cheap, stripped down. They make one with a cover. They make one with some extras up here in the front. I wanted the streamlined lightest one that they made. This boat naked weighs 25 pounds. Let me say it again. 25 pounds that's crazy light compared to something like that um now what have i done to this boat um this boat did not come with uh this webbing here in the back so i bought these little eyelets uh screwed them in myself glued and screwed right uh, and i added this webbing after the fact super heavy duty uh, but also super stretchy um the reason i have this clip here is because it's kind of nice to be able, like open this up put stuff in and then be able to, with two hands, and then be able to just clip it back together. Um, I can fit some pretty big coolers back here, which is kind of the biggest thing that I really like to do, but it also works really great for storage gear. Today I'm running pretty light. I'm gonna run two rigs. I'm gonna test some baits. So what do I have? I have a day box with some basic gear, and then I've got my terminal tackle box, which is kind of like a must have, and then a bag of plastics, just kind of a mix, right? All of it's kind of not waterproof, but well, these are waterproof. This is essentially waterproof, but yeah, that's going to stay back there. Still some room for some extra goodies. So that was the first thing I did was do this bungee. Huge help. Makes me feel really good that if this tipped over, because this is not as sturdy as a sit on top. If this flipped over, I would feel much better about all that stuff not going anywhere. Now some other adjustments that I have made uh, recently. Uh, these are great. Um, they come with the bow, you know, no worries there. I do have one issue though. Uh, most of my rod butts are a little bit longer. And you'll kind of see that with anything above a seven foot rod, they're a little bit longer. These, these do not go that deep, right? Look at how much space is in there. That makes this relatively top heavy. And I'm just not loving, just not loving losing a rod. You can kind of see inside here. You can kind of see inside here. That's where that stops. Not great. So what did I add? I had a little bit heavier duty rod holder. Basically I just had it laying around and I wanted to throw it in there. It works great for a rod holder. So as you can see, it's holding this much more securely. I control with this. Um, I can still paddle with it uh, where it is 
or I can use it as a forward facing rod holder to like tie off and you know change the lures and do whatever. And this is gonna hold the rod instead of me having to do it. It is compatible with other Starport accessories. So I have like some lights, uh, some electronic stuff, some mounts. I would love to do like a longer camera mount. I think this is gonna be really great for that. So that was the first thing. Most times this is either gonna sit in the back um, or it's gonna sit down there. Another thing that I did very recently was this camera mount. This is the Yak Attack Panfish Pro. Um, it's pretty sweet. You can very easily just pull it up and then turn it, lock it back into place and it's locked, right? Now the way that I mounted this, I'll take this off here real quick. Now the way that I mounted this, this is the mount that it comes with. Um, this is another Yak Attack. I think this is called their Mighty Track maybe. I don't know, it's a basic track. The heavy duty one though, I bought, it comes with these screws. I bought some uh, nice washers and nuts for the back. And then you can see I use some silicone in there just to make sure it's super watertight. And then yeah, this just slides right in there like so. And then it locks down by tightening just like that. Get it nice and tight. And then yeah, sinks right into here. Boom, done. And then this rotates and does whatever I need it to do. This is gonna be fantastic. I also recently um, upgraded to an iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 doesn't use like a proprietary plug. It uses a USB-C, which is the exact same thing that my GoPro uses. It seems like such a small thing. Honestly, massive, like massive, because it means I can power without changing cables or cords or anything. Um, I can use a plug-in power source for both my phone to go a lot, to like do things like Instagram Lives, to take great pictures, to do all that sort of thing, and also use the same power bank to power my GoPro. I do like using a power bank to power the GoPro. It means I don't have to change batteries and I can, I can honestly with, I think I have an anchor. Let me grab it here. I have an anchor. Um, these are not that expensive. 50 bucks I think is the, this is the big boy. This thing will last like four or five days. No problem. Unbelievable. I have fished this two times already without charging it. Still at four bars. It's crazy. So uh, this will plug into that cable right there and can power both my GoPro and my phone. So as you can see, I have a GoPro mount style mount on there right now. And I just got a, uh, a, um, a cell phone mount that should do the exact same thing. Check that bad boy out. So Ram mount, this is the, this is the medium size. It's a one inch ball. Um, I should be able to show you right now. So basically all I'm gonna do is loosen this up a bit. Take that off all the way apparently. And you can see same size ball. Clip this in here, clip this back on here, like so, tighten her up, and you've got and you've got yourself a sweet camera mount for your phone. So cool. So that was a huge, huge upgrade. Now, I mentioned power cable. So that power cable runs all the way into here, like so. Uh, so you might be asking yourself, how are you keeping that battery dry? Well, funny you should ask. <laughs> it's actually super simple. I'm just using a waterproof bag. I shove this in here. I run the cable inside, roll it closed, and then just shove it right in there. It's out of the way of my feet, it's 100% waterproof, um, and it allows me to do exactly what I need to do. That is primo. So that is it for the custom stuff. Um, now what do I typically keep inside of my kayak with me when I go for a trip like this? Well, I try and keep the number of rigs to a manageable number. I think the most I would ever take here is three. I try and stick to two. One if you can, but two. I'll usually keep one in between my legs, just like that, uh, and then I'll keep one back here, and now I'll probably keep it inside that uh, inside that rod holder. I also always, 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 always have a PFD. My cell phone goes in one of these, and then in the other one, I carry my tools. So I will be carrying probably these uh, pliers, or yeah, I'll be carrying pliers right there, just like that. Um, you cannot, 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 cannot um, hit the water without one of these for multiple reasons. One, safety, always, always, always safety. Never go on the water uh, in a kayak without one of these. But really, the biggest thing is, it's basically like a little portable tackle box. Um, I keep weights, I keep scissors, uh, I keep pliers. You can keep a, like a little, uh, like a bolo scale. Um, you can keep tons and tons and tons of stuff um, in there. It's not on the deck, uh, it's organized, and it's on you. That, it's kind of a no-brainer. It's like, oh, do I want to wear this uh, portable um, tackle box that will save my life? Yes, yes I do. I definitely want to do that. Uh, I also carry a little bag just like this, a little tackle box just like this. 
It's got some plastics, um, all kinds of different stuff, and I just customize it for what I'm gonna use for the day. Um, it's got mono, it's got fluoro, got some braid, uh, got some buzz baits. I do keep my scissors slash split ring pliers on there, um, and then keep my, you know, whatever tools that I need. I also do keep a scale in there. Now, this is not my favorite scale. You could keep a digital. I probably should. But in this case, I'm not gonna bring a net today. So if I get into some toothy critters, like a big one, I'm gonna want something like this to manage it. Um, but yeah, keep all kinds of stuff in there. Just whatever you think you're gonna need for the day. And then that little guy will sit right up there as well. Right in between my legs, quick, easy access. You can put it back there. You could even shove it back there if you wanted to. Whatever you feel like you need. But that is, that's like the main deal right there. It is so easy to lose a net in a kayak like this and even a rod without even noticing it. The boat rocks while you're paddling. If you're going by trees, it could get yanked out like that. Honestly, I don't use a paddle leash because I'm just not gonna lose my paddle and I feel like I'm experienced enough where I don't use one. But I used to, and I recommend if you're new that you do, um, leash, leash your net and then leash your spare rod. You know, I keep, I do keep this leash in here and I will leash it to just back here at a strappy. If I'm switching rigs, I legitimately leash it. Watching 200 or hundred bucks just float off into the water and maybe you don't even know about it and never be able to retrieve it just because you didn't want to use a leash. That's, that's silly status, don't do that. What else is in here? I do have a scale. Um, if you're running any tournaments, you can have a scale. Um, Maybe like right now, Monster Bass is running their Monster Bass Big Bass Challenge. It's a tournament that goes through the end of the year, $10,000 in prizes. Highly recommend that you do that. It's not hard to do. All you really need is a tournament approved scale and fish catching gear and you can go enter. So please go do that. And that's it. I mean, that is like the whole rig. So that is a really quick walkthrough. Everything that I keep on the boat, some of the upgrades I've made, but I wanna get this rig out on the water test out some new baits that I've been looking at and also test out some of my upgrades. So yeah, I'm gonna get these out on the water and actually I will show you how I load this up. Boom, there it is, piece of cake. Yeah, and then the last piece is just securing it. Yeah, let's go see if we can get some giants out of this little boat. Amazing how basically none of this is getting in the way of my paddle. I'm all about this life right now. Yeah, when you hit a one spot like this, you can see the bluegill right up on top. It's time to anchor up. You got me pumped up. Yeah, nice bass. Come on, baby. There it is. Get the boat, get the boat, get the boat. Lower lift them. Holy smokes. There she is. She mean, biting me up. Love it. <laughs> Yo! Oh, an absolute slab! Yeah! Slab! What a slab! Oh, this. Yes! Yo! What an absolute giant rock bass. Holy cow! No freaking way. What an absolute slab. Doing it. And it's gonna show. Like, your energy is gonna be. Got him! Got him! Oh, it's a bass! Oh, oh, <laughs> nice bass. Nothing but chokes. On the Carolina. The uh, Carolina, but I trimmed down to like a little, uh, oh, hey, hey, he's spicy. <laughs> You're on camera, by the way, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look hi. at, look at that spicy chunk. <laughs> Jeff says hi, everybody. Circle hook coming in hot. Spicy chunk. Oh, got him. Got him. Another rocky. Oh, another giant rock! Oh, yo! Oh my gosh! 
These are giant rock bass. What is happening? What a killer. Are you joshing me? All right, let's get this guy go. Having a day. This thing casts like four miles. <laughs> Easy. Got him. Got him. Jack my jaw. Oh, yo. Well, that sucks, man. Got him. Yes. Come on, little guy. Are you kidding me? Another Rocky? What in the heck? No flipping way. Well, that's, well there it is, folks last cast after testing everything out camera works phenomenal really happy with that really happy with this got to do some trolling with it fantastic everything looks like it's dry everything's working boat is floating caught some fish fantastic day tested out some baits uh hopefully this video is fun for you hopefully you enjoyed it thank you for stopping by the channel please 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 uh like subscribe smash the like button ring notification bell so you can see when we post the next video uh and again thank you very much early fishing paul we out.